Hey there everybody, Odwin here and welcome back to the channel for another figure review. Today, we have, whoo, been meaning to get around to reviewing this for you guys, but you guys know what it is. You just haven't seen it yet, at least for me. But we have this big guy, this big boy. We have here, the King Toys Trans Age, uh, what do they call him? Yeah, that right there. CT Longyan Stego Roll. This is Snarl with the Dinobots. This guy is massive. This guy is cool. This guy was a pain to transform. Oh my good lord god. Whoo! I literally spent like two hours trying to figure out how to get him from robot form to get some way to dino mode. So uh yeah, this guy is only gonna be transformed like maybe three times. Right now in this video, into robot mode. And then the next time will be into him being a giant foot. Whenever the rest of them come out. Because this is a combiner just like the other King Toys miniseries. Except this guy is freaking huge. We have Snarl. In his dino form. And just, just look at the size of him. Like I have to pull the freaking camera right just to get this somewhat in shot. This guy is massive. Jesus Christ! But he's awesome. Getting this like this was not something like I, it, it's a weird feeling. Like doing a process of transforming it, I was feeling frustrated. Like oh my God, nothing's lining up the way it should line up because the instructions are like they're there, but they don't tell you the minute details you need. And at the same time, I'm going through it. I'm like, this is actually a really simple transformation. I don't know what the problem is. And then I figured out what the problem was. It's the top half. The bottom half is easy. Legs transformation, no problem. Top half transformation, getting everything to line up, is annoying. Even just getting the hands hidden. You have to have this thumb a certain way for it to fold into this. It's in there. You guys will see it. Because I am going to transform him back into robot mode. He comes robot mode inside the package when you first get him. Shake the cameras here, obviously. He comes in robot mode. Um, it looks great. I mean, I still have the blister. I'm not going to show you guys the blister. We're not here for that. We're here for him and everything else, and I know you guys want to see the robot mode, so before we get to that, let's get to his accessories that he has. Oh, come here, giant stingo snarl. Good lord. So, oh, wait a minute, not the accessories. So, I've only opened this guy to transform him, everything else is still sealed. I'm going to show you guys the stuff now. We get these here. Gotta go ahead and open these up. I am probably never going to, oh. I thought that was over for a moment. I'm probably never going to use these. But maybe I will. I don't know. They're cool, but these are obviously for Chinese New Year. If you know, you know, they like to give out um, fortunes that have, you know, money in them. You know, fortune. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, you stuff money into them. You give people for New Year. You wish them good fortune, things like that. But these are pretty cool. They didn't have to include these, but they did. They look amazing. I mean... That artwork is great. It's a great rendition of how he's gonna look once he's transformed. And they give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So uh, yeah, you keep one for yourself, give seven out to your friends, all that good stuff. If you guys wanna pick this guy up, you can go to Show Sir Z. He is still available on and off. Keep your eyes out for the rest of them. I am looking forward to Grimlock. I cannot wait. I want giant T-Rex Transformer. The, the thing is going to be massive. And I'll show you guys just how massive the thing is going to be. Alright. But before I do that, we also have a trading card. Which is a holographic. This is pretty neat. So if you guys are into these, you have this to look forward to. I have information on the back about weapons, stats, all that good stuff. I cannot read that. I am sorry. If you can, congrats. If you can't, well, use Google Translate like me. I'm not using it right now, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> We also get this cool thing. So this is still, like I said, he's only been open to transform. I'm gonna take this out now. Um, where is the? Okay, so there's no slit on this one to open it. So I'm just gonna have to tear the plate. Never mind. I'm blind. It was on the front. Let's uh get this open real quick. There we go. And this is pretty neat. So we get another holographic. As you can see, we have Snarl on the front and over in the corner. I'm pretty sure that's Thorilla from the Predacons. 
which is pretty interesting, but it swaps. See? That, that's pretty neat. I like this. I like this. There's a plastic film over it to keep it safe and everything. I'll take that off later. But just wanted to show that to you guys. Nothing on the back of it, obviously. And then he comes with um, two trading cards. Again. So here we are. And these are pretty nice. We have him going off against Headshot. I'm not Headshot. Why do I say Headshot? Ah, oh, God. Yeah. I, I, I can't talk. This is not Headshot. This is headstrong. <laughs> ah, good lord. But yeah, there's some Predacons, and then we have Snarl here. This looks great. Obviously, they can line up together. I don't want to open these yet until I have a you know, spot to put them in for display, but they do overlap. Looks pretty nice. These are cool. You know, backings. That's about it. Their numbers, respectively, for who they are. These are pretty neat. And it looks like there might be one or two, or it's metal. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Last but not least, obviously, we have his instruction booklet. Got the cool artwork on the front. Got the logo on the back. He's in the back, too. All the beautiful instructions and transforming him. By beautiful instructions, I mean these are hell. These are little hell. But yeah, there's the foot mode. There's the robot mode. And he's already in stego mode. So that's the end of the video. Um, catch you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Kidding, obviously. We do get these two swords for his robot mode. These are pretty cool. One short, one long. But the trick with these is that if we take his cannons off, because what dinosaur doesn't need giant cannons, we take these off and get that second one off. There we go. They're both identical to each other, so it doesn't matter which one you use. These handles fold out, and then you know he has his guns or cannons, whatever you want to call them. You fold this down, and now you have a handle. So with that being said, he can hold these on their own. He can hold them while they're encased in the cannons. You know, giant swords. But this is what I mean by he's going to be massive. All of them are gonna be massive. When you get all of them together, this is just part of the sword that's going to be for the full combined thing of Volcanus. The full set of all the Dinobots together. This thing is, is huge. I, I, I don't know how to describe how big this thing is, aside from the fact that it's basic. I can use this as a weapon. You know, this, this is I can't wait. I can't wait. That's that's the best thing I can say. This thing is massive. But enough of that. Let's get to him. So, here he is. And I'm just going to go straight into it. He can look up that far. He can look all the way down underneath him. That's partially because of the transformation. But yeah, you get it. He does have a moving hinged mouth. Okay, I'm not going to keep trying to do that. Um... I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm partially frustrated with it because the transformation for this was... It really was a pain. It really was. When I do this more times and get used to it, then I'll be I'll, I'll be fine. But for right now, first instance, oh my god, getting this into this form was obnoxious. Anyway, all of his spines can move. Whether you want to, to move or not, I mean, that's up to you. But hey, look, they all move. You can position however you want. Maybe, you know... He's caught in the wind and they're shifting over. I don't know. That's not how dinosaurs work, but who cares? Robot dinosaur. We do have arm articulation here. Everything is ratcheted, so I love that. Leg can move far. That far forward is what I was trying to say. We do have a little bit of ankle pivot and motion down here at his paw or foot, whatever you want to call it. It's a dinosaur. I don't know if they count as paws. <laughs> Same thing with the hind legs. They look a little weird. Like this part here just looks really thin compared to the bulkiness of everything else. But hey, that's what we have. You can bend back that far. Bottom foot, same articulation as the front. There's nothing in the midsection. And thankfully there is nothing in the midsection because oh my god, this is the problem. Like getting all this lined up. Oh lord. Tail is probably the coolest thing. This thing 
have all the articulation that you can want in a dinosaur tail. Can bend all the way that way, all the way this way, can curl all the way up. Let me move the thing to see it. I mean, that's pretty cool. Why don't we shot tail lasers? That'd be, be kind of nice. <laughs> but yeah, enough of that. You guys see me somewhat knocking over the tiger sword. I am going to try to transform this guy on camera. Oh man, wish me luck. If I do not make it through this, this is gonna be a cut. It'll be an obvious cut. You guys know how I do things, but you'll see it, and um, he'll be in robot mode afterwards. But this this guy is cool. Do not get me wrong. I may have my frustration with transforming him into this mode, but this thing is phenomenal. I do like this, and I am looking forward to the rest of them. It's just that he was a pain, and he hurts. These things hurt. They they look sharp on camera, right? It's because they are. Hurts, 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 hurts. All of that hurts. This little thing hurts too. And for some reason, this on both sides keeps popping off. I'm gonna have to glue these on. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to come off, but hey, they keep doing it. Probably gonna come off during the transformation. Speaking of which, let's get into it. Oh man, here we go. So I'm just gonna try to do the, the reverse way of what it said to put it together and start popping things. Some of the things to get them to transform were obnoxious. Like, I'll point them out. Oh, God, there we go. Like, I'll point them out which ones were and which ones weren't. Like I said, the feet were kind of fine. I'm going to move this way. This section here was obnoxious to, to get together because you have to have this position in the, just the right angle for everything to line up and press in. It There was really no good amount of give for it. You know? But this is going to... Oh, all the shaky camera. <laughs> this is gonna pop up here. Assuming I can get it out. Apparently I cannot. Let's see. Let's pull that up. Come on. Really doesn't want to come up. Oh, maybe it'll come up if I, you know, unlock everything else. Yeah, that that would probably help. Oh, this is a piece that was obnoxious to transform out. Like this has to be folded back in. Getting this out was stupid. Like, good God, it was stupid. You, you need, like, tweezers or something, but putting that back in there went in with no problem. I'll just move those down now. Let's just, we're gonna move all over the place to try to get this guy transformed back. Um, let's get this giant segment up. Oh, yeah, gotta disconnect it from the legs here. It's gonna be a bunch of shaky camera because I have to see the table. There we go. That's one side. That's the other side. Pull this from the rest of it. All right, so this section is free, so we should be able to move this. Perfect. I can close those up now because those need to be closed for part of the transformation. And I'm just gonna do stuff as I go along. Oh man, God, transforming this guy was a pain. Um, what else do we have here? So move this section up. Disconnect the legs. There we go. I mean, technically, I don't even have to leave this on here. I could take this off. So, I'm gonna point this up real quick. So, this section here for the tail is actually part of its back. I could leave it on to transform it, and transforming into dynamo, they have it on. It comes off, it doesn't have to be on. It's also a weapon. You guys will see that later. For right now, I think I might take this off just to get it out of the way and I don't have to deal with this. Because, yeah, it. you guys don't know how many times I almost stabbed myself in the freaking face because of this. But, um, to remove this... Yeah, you guys can't even really see that. But, um, this whole entire thing slides out. I'll, I'll try to get this out for you guys. Let's see. Does it want to come out? I mean, if it comes out, we're good. If it's not, we're gonna transform it with it. It doesn't seem like it wants to come out, so we're just gonna do it with it. So bear with me. Back to the legs, though. And that's why I want to take that off. Oh my god, get out of the way. So if I remember correctly, we have to disconnect this. This goes back up. Same for this side. Goes back up. Fold this back up. This can come back out. And 
tape. This can disconnect and I pop the foot off. I always manage to do that. In a freaking video for a transformer. Foot technically right. I just have to fold everything back the way it's supposed to go. Let's just raise this back up. Rotate that back. Unlock that one. Rotate this one back. Alright. I don't fully remember how this folds up, but I do know that this unlocks. This comes down. These come out. Entire thing off. Oh my god. This is like a horrible monstrosity right now. Let's uh, put this back on here. Really do appreciate the quality of this. You know, everything feels very nice. Joints are tight. That's both good and bad. Does, you know, it feels nice and at the same time. I feel like I'm gonna break something. So for the legs, aside from this, we're going to move this out of the way. So I'm gonna move that down. I'm gonna move this one down. Whew. These are supposed to be open and you're supposed to flip them. I don't know why. I mean you could probably flip them without having to open this, but I'm gonna do it anyway because that's how it transformed. Move that and move that and then the leg just it's supposed to just fold out, you know, like this. Or not. Because apparently I did that wrong here. <laughs> there we go. Do that. There we go. Let's unfold this one. Have these legs back already. Okay, so now we gotta get this all folded and placed back in here. And this was just a matter of this, and then I believe folding this down and placing it inside, but it actually has to latch in. We have to take this out so this part folds up completely. I'm trying to do this off of memory right now. I just knocked over the Tiger Zord. <laughs> yeah. We're trying. We're trying. And also, basically, kind of just smash this guy back in. But I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to do that. Unless I'm supposed to go like this, but. Off, you know, like it won't go in. I don't know. It's odd, very odd. Probably should have rehearsed this more, or figured out how to transform this properly before going to do a video. But it's supposed to be something like that, and then it goes in. Yep, looks like I'm gonna have to cut to transform this guy back to normal. Oh man. Sorry guys, I'll be back. So you guys know how I've had to be right back to transform this. I looked at the instructions and figured out that I was literally I had it the right way. I just had to turn the damn foot. Ha <sighs> Well, I'm gonna try to do this one on camera so you guys can see that I had the damn thing right. I was just being stupid. But what else is new? <laughs> Just gonna move the foot down to where it should go. Right? And then this is supposed to just fold into it. I think I have this wrong. I can't remember just now. Or do I have it right? No, I have it right. This one's wrong. This one's supposed to go like that. And then 
that's supposed to be open and then I am supposed to be able to just push this back in with the weird little gap that it has oh my god tail get out the way Properly, and, oh nope, no, 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 unfold that. Okay. So technically, I should be able to just push this back in here, but I can't get this back in here. Why is this not working for me? I just did it to the other side. I literally just did this. I mean, to be fair, it was hard to get this out of the casing when I was transforming it to begin with. I had to get it out from being locked in. That is not the proper spot. I have not been in there properly. Come here, leg. Come on. Come back out. Come back out. Okay. This is supposed to be compressed. And this should basically just slide back in. However, it's not doing that. There we go. I knew I could do it. I just had to not be so stupid. But yeah. So the feet are the easy part of this transformation. And even though I just made it not look that way, trust me when I say they are. Let's get his waist back to normal. If I remember correctly, I think this one goes like this, and this one goes like this. Or does the gray go at the top? I think the gray goes at the top. Okay. And then this locks up here. Yep. That just sits this way. Oh, he's, he's getting there. He's getting there. Together. I'm just gonna get the upper half together. The upper half is the thing I had a problem with transforming this to begin with. Good God, it was a pain. This, just this amalgamation of stuff was the pain. To begin with, this splits open. Oh man, I really gotta remember how to do all of this. I need to practice this way more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this going. So these all split. Just do it carefully. There you go. Okay. And then these pieces here are going to fold back into these grooves. So let's show you guys this. Let's not turn it. Just there we go. It's gonna fold all the way back. Transformation sequence to be on camera. They're like, I'm not showing you guys anything. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh man. Alright, so I'm supposed to flip this, turn this back the other way, and then flip this back down. Or something. I really don't remember.
So I put one back the way it was supposed to be, and the other one not too much. So this was a pain too, having to flip this out, this is extremely tight, you might want to take a, a screw in there and loosen at it a little bit, um, right here in this section here, you might want to do that, I don't know, that's up to you, but for me, it was, it was extremely tight, hopefully I can move this without uh, damaging anything, if I can even get in the section. <laughs> All right, let's use part of the giant blade. Okay, it's untabbed. So now I have to rotate everything back. Oh my lord. Be right back. Before I finish doing this, I just want you guys to hear how tight this is. Just. You hear that? Good, we'll just. I know I gotta open that for the finish going that way, but just just listen to that. Just oh my lord, that hurts my ears. So I eventually got the neck piece folded into there. It has to be folded up that way for it to fit in. When I tell you guys that that shit is tight, I really mean that. Good lord. Pain transforming it into Snarl into Stego mode. It was a pain transforming him back because of the same goddamn issue. That piece fucking sucks. Anyway, he's almost back. Y you see him shaping. You see him coming. Here we go. Holy crap. Oh my god. 
Alright, so we have most of him back. We still have this amalgamation back here to deal with. Some weird folding shenanigans that have to go on back here to get this out. But I do know. Stupid, and all I had to do was fold the damn thing inward. <sighs> you know, sometimes things aren't complicated. It'd just be your own mind thinking shit is harder than it seems. Which it wasn't. All I have to do now is get the rest of this line up the back of the hides. And shake it down. or whatever. Ah. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stop it one more time. I just want y'all to know. Dear God, I hate the upper half of this transforming as a back with a bitch. I hate it. Oh my God. I hate it doing this. But we got him back. He's back in robot mode. This entire section... Did, oh my Lord. Okay, so... I can't, I can't explain it in great detail without showing you guys. So, I recommend go checking out Jobby the Hong's channel. He has his figure. He does a full transformation of it. Check him out so you guys can see it. But, uh, there's a section in here. You have to squeeze this stuff so tightly together. Like, the bars have to be smushed together for it just to lock back in. It was not doing it for me. And I didn't know why until I looked at the instruction picture and it was like... Oh wait, it doesn't tell you to do that step, but it shows that it's extremely close together. Holy hell, I hate it, I hate it. But anyway, we have Snarl. He's all put together, back in the scene. Not completely, his back isn't completely on. I'll show you guys that in a second, once we get through his articulation. And why is he, oh, there we go. But say, why is he cricket? Anyway. We have that part popping off again. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to glue this because I don't think these are supposed to come off. There we go. Let's put that back on there. Boom. But he has a double jointed elbow. Bicep swivel. Both sides are ratcheted. Arm can extend out. There is no rotation, and you know, he's not gonna raise his arm up, apparently, at least not for mine, or I'm doing it wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm just doing it wrong. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. I'm just doing it wrong. There we go. He has full ratchet rotation. It's just a weird joint, that's all. It's not here. It's on the inside, here. But, yeah, you can see. Alright, he can look up. He can look down, but, I mean, he does have um, waist articulation. You know, he has a swivel. 
He can crunch forward. Just get garbage in the back, that's all. But he can crunch forward. He can also kick forward. I mean, pulls us back a little bit more. Oh, I almost completely took the thing off the, the desk. Oh, if his side skirts up, which will get up and out of the way for whatever motion you need to. He will hold this. This is rock solid. Double jointed knee, ratchet double jointed knee at that. We do have toe articulation. It can pivot side to side. I'm sorry I'm not showing it off that much. It's frustration. Oh yeah, thigh swivel. And complete splits. Freaking awesome. Oh man. I don't know if I ever want to transform these guys on camera again. <laughs> I think I just want to review the figures and save that transformations for another video it does have individually articulated fingers as well very nice and he holds his weapon no problem speaking of which let's give him one so here is going to be me hitting the camera apparently but let's get his fingers positioned properly and I was trying to make this video not super long but he ended up super long anyway so I think that's him holding one and then I'm going to have him hold the other one, which is inside of the, the big giant gun he comes with. Which doubles the sword. Let's see. Eh, 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 eh. Come on, I know you can hold it. Or not, am I wrong? Apparently I am wrong, he cannot hold it, at least not for me right now, because I am not the break. There we go. Although it's backwards, so that, that doesn't work. What the? It doesn't work. Is this, oh, it's side specific, isn't it? No, it's not side specific. Because the blade would still be facing the other way. What the hell? Okay, well that's odd. Anyway, you guys see it on camera. Um, he can hold it, right? Yeah. <laughs> ah. I'm just gonna transform this down, put this this way, and now he has his big old gun. He had his big old gun. He dropped. Oh my lord! And I just knocked his thumb off. This review is lovely. <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. Giant gun, giant robot, tiny thumb in the background. We'll pick that up. Um, let's get this out of the way. For right now, let's take this off. Let's reattach this thumb. I have no idea where I just knocked it. It's somewhere on the table. Regardless, um, the last thing I wanted to show was his back piece. Aside from this going on his back, this also doubles as a crossbow. So I would just keep everything flattened down, you know, maybe put these up. There we go. Let's get this laying down. Turn this the proper way that it should be. Oh, yeah, I probably need to fold those back in so this doesn't... Be like that. Handles right here. And then you're probably thinking, well, how does that how's that a crossbow? By the way, it's really wide. And that's because it comes with these two pieces here, which form the tip of said crossbow. And you just plug this right here. Or not, because there we go. And boom, giant crossbow. There we go. He can hold it, but it's not meant to hold. It's meant to plug into his arm. Oh, so you just lock this right here. Assuming I can do this right. Apparently, I cannot because I am bad at this. Dear God. 
There we go. It has some weight to it, so his arm isn't going to completely hold it. But I'm pretty sure we can finagle some stuff to get him to hold it. Be something weird like that. But yeah. So, um... That was Snarl. This video was fun and annoying at the same time. And I hope you guys managed to stick around to the end. Holy crap. Also, yeah, no size comparisons because I have nothing really around the size of this guy. Um... Maybe I'll do a size comparison at another point in time. Make it short or something. I'm not sure. I'm kind of burnt out from doing this video. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna go put this guy on the shelf somewhere and then take a break. And then probably be back with some smaller things that aren't nearly as uh, frustrating to mess around with. <laughs> oh, God. This guy. He's amazing, but it was a pain. Whew. I'll catch you all in the next video. Later.